Hi, I have a stammer, uh, and I'm going to try to tell you how it is. Uh, there are some people who are really nice to me and say, well, it's it's okay, you know, it isn't a problem with me, I'll, you know, hang on to see, you know, to see what you're saying. There are other people who aren't quite so nice who say, well, um, I'm sure that if you really got a grip on yourself, dear, you know, it would all be all right. And there are other people for whom I've had to, for whom I have been, by whom I have been employed in the past, who have said we've tried to accommodate your uh, the inadequacies of your speech, but you know, we can't anymore, and as a result, you're fired. Uh, but al although it's now clear that the root cause of stammering is a kind of faulty wiring in the brain, the exact cause is still not known. Yet, the understanding of and the support for most other kinds of disability has improved greatly in the past few years. But in many ways, to have a difficulty in talking is just as life-changing as to have a difficulty in walking, and possibly even more so, because we are increasingly defined uh, by how we talk and how we communicate. It's hard for us to change things because obviously mm, most stammerers aren't good at talking and so we aren't keen to her to stand up and explain how it is. And the media are not keen on providing us with time uh, because, well, stammering just does not make good uh, TV or radio. And then there are some really unhelpful entertainment programmes on TV, on film, in which characters have been provided with a stammer in order to give the audience a ch cheap laugh or to indicate that they have some flaw in their personality, that they're you know, extremely indecisive, or perhaps the murderer or whatever it is. And as a result, if stammering is considered at all, it tends to be treated as a joke. And if you search YouTube after this, you'll see that there are many clips there which show people stammering or pretending to stammer, which have been classified as comedy. Few people understand what it's like if you have a stammer. Uh, that's because we were probably teased at school, so we tend not to volunteer our opinion, especially in public. And if we really want a particular job, we may not mention on the application that we have a stammer because we, in case we are not going to be asked in for an interview. And if we are in work, uh, we often fear discrimination uh, or even a promotion. And so therefore, even though our skills are probably equal to anyone else's, we tend uh, to adopt a lower profile. Uh, but wherever we are, it, it's hard to be authoritative uh, because as soon as we try to assert ourselves, people are inclined to laugh at us. Uh, we're concerned about using the phone because we've been cut off so many times in the past uh, by others, but for instance, saying, um, are you on a mobile, mate? You seem to be breaking up. Click. Um, and we, if we're asked to do any kind of public speaking, you know, we'll be anxious for ages in advance, uh, and we try not to get into arguments because uh, we just can't see you know, how we'll ever win them. Um, and in my own case, I know if I have to present to clients, um, I'm supposed to be trying to impress them, but I spend just about the whole of the time uh, on m making every effort I can to control my speech. Uh, and then doing really simple everyday things like, for instance, ordering a sandwich can be extremely stressful. You, uh, you, you, you're hoping to get, you know, a tuna baguette or something, and you, you come out and in your hand is a, you know, ham on white or something. Uh, it's hard ordering, ordering a drink in a crowded pub for a new girlfriend. That can easily end up as a disaster. Uh, it's often hard to buy tickets on the train. You end up in the wrong place. And if I'm in a restaurant and the waiter 
brings me something I haven't ordered. Uh, do I send it back? Speech therapy will often help to control the effects of a stammer, but as you can probably see, few adults ever achieve complete natural fluency. So please, if you know or meet someone who stammers, try and understand what it is like for them. And please, if you think stammering is a joke, just spend a few moments imagining how frustrated you would feel if you knew exactly what you wanted to say, but you couldn't actually say it.